I was the gunner's mate. When I first went aboard the Skagit in 1955, they needed a, the captain's orderly, and nobody wanted to do it, so I volunteered, and I was the captain's orderly for a couple of months. Uh, and then I went back to the, the gun gunnery crew, and all I did was I was like a mechanic working on the guns, you know. And uh, then I stood watch. Uh, I was a helmsman, the guy that steers the ship, you know. We all slept in a, an area about the size of the room I'm sitting in, which is like 15 by 20 or so. And there was about 25 or 30 of us, and the bunks were five high. And then I was, the ship was over in Japan, and they had a program where you could exchange. I mean, I was 19, 20 years old, and you could exchange with somebody else who was coming over for their tour. So that's when I changed over to the George Clymer. I developed tinnitus 10 years after I got out of the service. And I was, I didn't even relate it. But then people told me that it was related, that that's normal, that tinnitus could take five or 10 years to develop. 